All right, it's Friday. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull some orders today. Um, I may not ship it. I'm just gonna pull it and document it here. I'll tell you one thing. Um, I mentioned earlier that I haven't been listening much, but because of the season, things have been selling like hotcakes. Charlotte, you gonna help me pull some orders? Pull some orders? Orders? All right, let's go ahead and pick those orders for Friday, just so we can get those out the way. Uh, let's see, got a couple things here that are going out. I'm gonna go and get them both at the same time. I think it's this guy. This guy's still pretty cheap. Um, not a bad game though, but it's still fairly cheap. Took a little while to sell. Um, I have literally nothing to this. I think I bought a hundred games that were in a box for like 30 bucks. So that's all profit. Then I sold a PS4 game, brand new. Um, that's sold for about 18 bucks. Um, this was a retail arbitrage thing. Um, I think it was like five bucks at Walmart. So not too bad there. And then I'm going to stick in this room here and not surprisingly now, um, the last one of these guys sold. So I'm kind of happy, happy to see him go. Um, not the, the, the funnest thing to pack. So that'll be the last one of those going out. And then... We got some rather inexpensive perfume that I had in a box somewhere. Um, sold for like 12 bucks. I got this out of the storage unit last year and it's just been sitting around. Um, I knew it didn't have much value, but I went ahead and listed it because it's getting close to Christmas and I figured it would sell and it did. And the last thing I'm gonna pull today is in one of these bins. Um, I have to figure out which one I put it in. I didn't label it but it's, it's a Boy Scout uniform. And I've had it for a little while. I almost didn't list it because it didn't have much value, but I, I thought, you know, I didn't have hardly anything in it. So I gave it a try and here it is. It's a, like a vintage, I think probably from the seventies or eighties. Um, just a really basic vintage Boy Scout um, uniform. So you can find some really great stuff that has to do with Boy Scouts, but generally basic stuff like this is that you're not gonna get too much. All right, it's Saturday morning. Here's the stuff I pulled last night. Um, it's probably seven or eight o'clock when I just pulled it. Again, I said I wasn't gonna ship it, but I went ahead and just get it pulled so I could have it ready. Um, so I had, I think, seven more things sell since that time in this morning, and it's about 7.30 in the morning. So in the last 12 hours, I had another seven or eight things sell. I'm going to go ahead and pull those. I'm going to go ahead and ship all this stuff and get it out the door Saturday. Okay, so two things sold out of the toy bin. These, however, are not G.I. Joe, but I did pick them up in a G.I. Joe lot, so you can see what sold there. I actually didn't know what these things were. Um, I had them in a bag for the longest time. I didn't think they were G.I. Joe parts. Um, I finally figured it out, and that was a pretty amazing sale. I got close to $40 for just those three things. And then these two guys here, um, again, same deal um, in a parts lot. I didn't know what they were. I finally figured it out, listed them, and you see what I got for those. All right, so the next two things. We had a puzzle that went out, and I said on the G shelf. Um, I see it. There it is. Brand new inbox puzzle. Pretty cool. You can see it there. Um, I think I got this from... I don't really remember either a garage sale or a yard sale and I'm pretty sure I probably don't have any more than two or three dollars in it and then the next thing is also on the G shelf and in this and J so let's pull that real quick over here and it was an action figure there it is um, I picked this up this is actually really cheap I think this is at Walmart for a couple bucks and then while we're in here I know I sell I'm seeing, I know I sold some of these compression socks. So I know I sold a lot of three. So that's the only lot of three I have left in here. And this sold for $40. Um, and I sent out an offer on this. I've had them for a while. Again, I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I like finding things in lots when I find them. But it wasn't necessarily a lot. It was just a whole bunch of these were at a um, thrift store for two bucks a, a box. And I bought um, $2, so that's six and the 40, great there. And then, sold another single one I think it was this one and that one sold as well so I think that was about 20 bottles so that's great in fact it wasn't this one 
it was this one. That one sold for 20. Um, which means this is the last one I have. And this tote is getting close to being empty. And the last thing to go out is this. I think it's really nice. It's a really nice like puffer vest. Um, you know, one of those thick vests with like the pleated um, exterior. And this is cool. It's got leather shoulder pads, really nice, great condition. Um, the brand is nothing to write home about, but it's also a really good size. So I picked this up at a thrift store. Um, I think it was, I think this because of how heavy and big it was, it's an $8 item at the thrift store that I bought this from, but it's still pretty good. Um, $35. Um, I'm happy about that. Okay, got 12 things to ship. Let's see how fast we can get these pulled and out of here. Uh, so two VHS tapes together, lottered them up. Um, sent into these a piece. Um, new, brand new sealed. I sent out an offer. They counter offered and I accepted at $26. H-I-J-K-L-L-L. -L -L. Way over here in the corner. Put on this little rolly guy though makes it a little bit easier and i think it was this yep so sold that guy didn't have it too long i didn't i wasn't sure i was going to sell that i think that was about four or five dollars at a thrift store and sold that for 26 dollars with shipping on top all right going right back to l and just happy to get rid of this shouldn't have bought it bought this at a yard sale and I think I paid like a dollar or something. I just thought it was so cheap. But um, they don't sell. They don't sell is the thing. And um, I got five fifty six dollars for that. So just happy to get something on that. All right. So lots of stuff sold. GI Joe related. I already sold these guys. Um, I think I sent an offer. I had a watcher. Just wanted to get them out. So those sold for twelve eighty. Okay, save a little bit of heartache. I've already dug out the other stuff out of this bin. So here's some little missiles. Those guys sold for about five bucks. Um, I put a couple of things on auction. Uh, so this is a pretty good figure. Um, he is broken. Part of him is broken. He doesn't have any accessories. But even so, he sold at auction for $32. And then I had a lot of G.I. Joe figures. I think there was, you'll see it on the screen. I think a dozen or so figures in here, 11, 12 figures with some accessories, and those went at auction for $50. This is kind of weird how this is working. So I have something else, and it sold an L. The other day, it seemed like I sold everything out of another bin. And now, today, everything is sold out of this one. Go figure. So, really nice um, paint sprayer for like an air, an air, um, air setup. I got 65 bucks for that, and I think maybe around $10 for it. I think I picked up at a yard sale a few months ago. And then we sold another glove. This is one I've had for a little bit. It is an old vintage glove though, it's not new. Even though I've had it for a while, it's even it's much, much older than that. Probably would have been something I would have had when I grew up, and here it is. Vintage glove, and I think I paid a couple of dollars for them at a yard sale not too long ago, and that sold for $35. All right, I went ahead and pulled the next three things um, just to not bore everyone to death with me picking through some of these, these bins trying to find it. So here's some Levi's, vintage Levi's. These sold for about 15. I probably have a buck or two of those. I got these North Face pants just a few weeks ago. Um, I know I paid three bucks for those and got about $24. And these are all with shipping. So I usually charge shipping on everything, unless it's light, um, but most of the time I charge shipping. And then I sold a Luke Keekly jersey. I sold that guy for, I believe, $69.99 plus, or $69.90, or something like that, close to 70 bucks, but I also did free shipping. Um, I sold a couple of these guys. So I picked up five of these a few months ago from Ross, and they're the Stitch version. And I picked them up for $20 a piece. They're extra large, and I sold a couple for 80. And the last thing, which I just stumbled upon the other day and actually used them for Thanksgiving, funny enough, is a couple of trivets, vintage trivets. And I have two of them. They've just been kind of sitting around. They're pretty nice. Um, you can see what I got. I think I got about $19 for the pair of those. 
Um, didn't take long to sell either. Probably because of the season, I would imagine. All right, so if you're watching this, you're probably interested in reselling. Either you are a reseller or you're just really curious on how it works and you get excited over finding things and seeing that people can make money off of it. So I just want to kind of recap. So we did a week's worth of pulls and sells. So I just want to kind of show what that looked like the last seven days. And this is by no means the brag at all, because if you do resell, then you know this number doesn't mean a whole lot yet, right? So um, just look at it from day to day. We started really on Sunday. We started pulling more orders Monday. Um, and most of that was for Sunday. And you can kind of see day to day what the numbers kind of look like. So there's a couple really good days here. Um, I know a lot of this can be attributed to Christmas. So that was yesterday, which was a Saturday. And today sales have been not, not very good, clearly. But it's still kind of early on a Sunday. So I'm going to stop it here. So we may still make some sales today, probably, is my guess. But you can kind of see what the last seven days did. Of course, um, you have to take out fees. This, this number also includes shipping costs. Since I charge shipping just on everything that I sell, that number includes whatever the buyer paid for shipping, which comes back out of my pocket because I paid for shipping. And then um, also cost of goods, right? So I talk about that usually when I, when I pull the item, um, but there's a cost associated with that. But still, all in all, if you figure 15% in fees, you figure the cost of goods, um, you figure shipping probably 15 to 30% of this, it just really depends, but let's say error, let's say 20%, right? So 200, you just take all that out and it's still a pretty good week um, for a part-time income. So I just want to leave it at that. You kind of see where everything we pulled this week. You see where we ended up. You see the numbers. I believe you could do this too.